halftime here at the University of Indianapolis as the Greyhounds take on Northern Kentucky. We're here to talk a little Greyhound baseball. Joining me is the head coach of the baseball team, Mr. Gary Vaught, in his 13th season. And coach, last season you got your 400th win here on campus. Tell us what it means for you to have that kind of achievement. Well, it means that the players have done a great job and we've had unbelievable assistance to help us. Um, you know, you always like to hit those numbers, but the main thing we're here for is trying to help win a championship for the kids. And uh, it's nice to get that 400th win here and uh, also nice to be at the same place for 13, going on the 13th year too. Let's talk about your team this year already. You've uh, got a couple games in the, in the fold already. You're one in three, uh, played some real tough games down in Arkansas. Uh, but you had some kids at the top of the lineup really stealing some bases for you. Tell us about Justin Russell, Aaron Ross. Well, we've got, a, we've got a good ball club this year. I know we've only been outside twice and uh, went in. First game had a little bit of jitter. Second game played well. Then we played one of my former players that came here with me and coaches, Coach Norway to Washita, which are ranked. And uh, they lead the nation in scoring and hitting and everything. And we were able to play two one-run games with them and actually had them beat both games we hadn't pulled our pitcher. It was just so early in the year. But stowed 17 out of 20 bases. We're very fast this year. The, the three times that we were caught, one was on a great throw, and two, we, we slipped. So realistically, we've only been thrown out once. Um, got a good ball club going down this weekend to play Southern Arkansas. It's going to be another task force, you know, 11-hour trip to get off the bus and play tomorrow night. And then plus hopefully get to play Saturday and Sunday if the rain doesn't get to us. But uh, we're fast this year. We've got, a, got good depth, got a good bunch of young kids. And I think our senior leadership is going to be pretty good this year. He had a lot of seniors on the team last year, of course, and you're missing quite a few arms from that team. Tell us how you make up for that this year. Well, we've got Mike McFadden back, a Ron Colley young person, um, which is a junior, and then, of course, Keith Hatfield. Uh, we brought some new arms in. Um, we've got uh, Brent Zarney back, a Canadian kid. He had a rough outing the first time, but we feel like he'll be okay. And then, and then the new arms, Adam Farrick, the kid we brought in from uh, Crown Point, a freshman, did really good. Uh, Dave Early, a kid that transferred in. Uh, we lost a couple of players that semester. Uh, one was homesick, and then one got his arm hurt again. And then plus, we lost our probably our best hitter, um, uh, our catcher Ben, and uh, we'll have him next year. But the arms are going to be good. We're not going to overpower people. We're going to try to hit, get a lot of ground balls and play great defense. So, what's the outlook for this year? You made a great run last year. You made it all the way to championship day on the GLBC tournament. Just missed out on the NCAA tournament. What's the outlook for this year? We think we're going to win it. Um, we've, uh, we were one game away from making it back to regionals. Uh, three years ago, we, had, we were picked to win it, had all the injuries. That next year was rehab year, and then last year we won 35 games. And uh, we're off to a 1-3 start, but that, that doesn't uh, mean much to me. Our whole conference was really bad last week because no one has been outside. Uh, but I think that um, I, I think we got a chance. I think we'll play for the championship, and I think we'll be back in it. Uh, a lot of coaches say that, and you have to listen to what you said. But this is a good bunch of kids, and they play hard, and they do things off the field right and on the field. So uh, I'm only expecting greatness out of them this year. You talk about the off-field success. Your team is one of the top GPAs here on campus. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's we're, it's a student athlete. Uh, it is a student athlete. Uh, being a former Division One coach, it, you know, maybe it's a little different at that level. But here, he's a student athlete, and our kids graduate. Our kids go on to get their masters, and uh, I'm very proud of that. I'm proud that the classroom work they've done this year has been unbelievable, and they've carried on to the field with the discipline. So, if you recruit that kind of young person, uh, the student athlete that will go to class, and you don't have all the distractions off the field. You have a chance to win on the field and that's what we're doing right now and I think that the record doesn't indicate where we're going to be at the end of the year and hopefully we'll get three wins this weekend bounce back open up next weekend at home if we can get the snow out of here and uh, and get ready for a conference and that's the main thing is to after the first 11 games to be ready when we open up against Quincy coach congratulations on all your success good luck the rest of the way thank you a lot Mitch that's head coach uh, Gary Vaught for the head baseball coach uh, we'll talk a little Greyhound softball after this the O'Charlie's Halftime Show continues here on the University of Indianapolis Television Network. I'm here with the Greyhound softball coach, Melissa Frosch, who's in her third season. Missy, you have quite a team. Uh, last year you just missed out on the NCAA Regionals. So tell us a little bit about your 2007 team. Uh, I believe we're really still heartbroken. I mean, we have that bad taste in the back of our... You know, back of our minds, thinking about that loss that we had last year, being one game out of it, just just really hurt us. Um, so this year, we're really kind of building off that. I mean, we broke the school record for most wins last year. We really feel like we have a lot of positives coming back. We lost a lot, but at the same time, we're a young team. They're very excited. Uh, we're kind of ready to get going. One of the main keys that you lost was Beth Wendlinger, who, of course, set about every record possible here as pitching is concerned. Tell us a little bit about your outlook for the pitching staff this year. 
We have a young staff. We have uh, three on staff. We have Amanda Windlinger, best sister. Uh, she's 10 strikeouts away from being in the top 10 um, for most strikeouts in school history. Uh, we have Megan Russell, who's out of Franklin Central, which is a, a standout. We're very fortunate of her. And we have Courtney Smith out of Columbus, Ohio. She threw 22 innings in the regional finals there. So we, we have some strengths. Like I said, we're very young. We have a lot to learn. Um, but we'll get there. I think as a staff, we're going to be stronger than we ever were last year. Your lineup is pretty solid. You have a young team. Um, You've got a sophomore coming back who's all region, then you add to that a Miss Softball, uh, Miss Indiana, so tell us about her. Oh, Jessica Breeden, she's just a standout athlete. Obviously, she's a two-sport athlete here. She's played volleyball and softball. Um, she's definitely going to contribute for us at the plate. I mean, she's just one of those young ladies that something's always going to happen. She's just so versatile. She's quick. She hits for power. You know, she steals when she gets on. So we're really excited to have her and definitely excited to have her in the lineup because she's going to bring so much that, you know, that we've lost. She's going to add to that lineup. Here in February, it's tough for a coach to get outside and get things done. What do you guys do in the winter when there's, when there's no time to get outside? Unfortunately, we just wait for the snow to melt. We're indoors a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's tough. We take ground balls off the gym floor. We, we played this past weekend. Uh, we played a whole five innings out of four games scheduled. Uh, it, it was tough. We, you know, got on the dirt for the first time in about a month and a half. So definitely, I mean, it, it hurts us. Um, but at the same time, we work out a lot of kinks that we do in the gym floor, and that, that certainly helps us. Chrissy, congratulations on all your success. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. That's head softball coach Missy Frost. We'll be back after this.